What's up everyone, today it's Tuesday and I'm going to show you a day in the life of a bioengineering master's student, cell and gene biotechnology division. And it's going to be quite a busy day because I have quite a few lectures. Now it's about 6 a.m. and I have about 30 minutes to make myself ready to leave for school because my university is in Ghent and I live in Antwerp, so I have to travel about two hours to get there. Not everything is the same for me, I have to go to the university about three times a week, so I have to get up at 6 a.m. three times a week. The other two days I have only online classes, so I don't have to go all the way there. I have not a lot of time left, so let's make myself ready. I first have to take the tram, I'm walking to it right now. After which I have to take the train, and in Ghent itself I have a bike and I go with the bicycle to my campus. In the train I don't really waste my time. I'm trying to learn some Russian recently, so I use the app Duolingo to do that. And if I'm done with that, I usually listen to one of my favorite science podcasts like Star Talk, Big Biology, Radio Lab. But now I'm choosing for uh, one from Belgium in Dutch, Nerdland. So I'm cycling to the campus right now, I have about 10 minutes left and the first lecture is about bioimaging and image informatics. It's raining right now, the first lecture of 3 hours is done, it was basically about microscopy, like first a bit optical physics, the dual nature of light and all that stuff, lenses, then how a microscope works, all the different parts of it. Then some stuff about oop, uh, bright field, dark field and phase contrast microscopy. And it's now 11.30 a.m. And my next lecture starts at 1 p.m. So I have one and a half hours to quickly hit the gym. I'm gonna do a push workout, which is chest, shoulders and triceps. After which I have to eat. I'm back at the campus and I have just time left to eat something. I usually eat a sandwich I bring from home or I buy something. And after that I have bioinformatics. Six hours, three hours uh, just lecture and three hours practical programming. So yeah. So guys, the lecture part is done. We have like half an hour to get some rest. And I'm going to the store for an aloo or something because I'm almost falling asleep. Okay, let's do a little three-hour programming session. After class, I went back home with the train and tram. And every day I try to train my brain a little with the app Neuronation. They have a variety of exercises to train your reasoning capability, memory, attention and processing speed. You can easily follow your evolution and progress. If I'm done with that, I use the rest of the ride to relax by listening to science podcasts. When I get home, I first eat dinner and quickly take a shower before going upstairs. Okay. Oh, the camera is here. Well, that's a coincidence. As you can see, the lights were already on. It works with the timer. And what I have to do now before I go in bed is check the plants if I need to water any one of them. I have to water my big boy, that one and that one. Look at this air root from the big boy. If you guys want to know how I made all of these weird bottles, there's also a big one, or that, or that periodic table, or that chessboard, go watch my previous videos. Oh no, you're not done yet. Every day, except when I go out with friends, which happens like at least once a week at this time of the year, I read at least 15 pages for fun. 
Now I'm reading a textbook, Molecular Cell Biology, from last year, just to refresh my memory a bit on all the different topics. I'm done reading the part about biochemical energetics. Next up is a chapter about protein structure and function. I'm not far in the book yet, there's about uh, 1200 pages, yeah. I'm finally done for the day. It's uh, 9.37 p.m. I'm gonna watch some YouTube or Netflix and probably fall asleep quite fast. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I see you guys next week. Peace out.